so good evening everyone how's been your day my day has been fine yeah <laughs> my day has been fine so um i'm here to talk about what's uh, on the description there um what you need to consider uh in case you want to relocate to these countries yeah i'm not going to make a long video i'll break this into different parts and then we'll talk about them on different days so i hope you're all doing good wherever you are i hope you've had a good day i hope everything is fine with you you know yeah everything is fine here with me so first things first i'll be very brief but to the point because um yeah it's a busy world so yeah first and foremost um i think i did promise some people who did watch me make a video when i was at the library but anyway if you didn't watch that i'm here to fulfill what i promise i said i'll find time and talk about these things uh, to do with language so here i am and i'm going to give a lot of tips uh, which might help one or two of you know those who are interested to relocate these countries so first and foremost you need to to know what you're interested in as a person you know yourself i know myself for example uh, i'm not very good at uh, mathematics for example but i'm good at languages i grasp language very easily so i can learn any language i'm very interested in languages and that's what i am into okay so i know myself so if you know yourself for example that you are not that good at learning languages then you should consider some of these things when it comes to you wanting to relocate to these non-english speaking countries mm? or these countries for example in europe or anywhere else where they don't use english you should know yourself uh, if, like if you don't uh, have interest in learning languages then you should uh, maybe consider uh, relocating to other countries where they speak english because it's going to be very tough for you to start learning these languages if you have no interest i'm talking from experience so that's very important to consider do you like to learn the languages or are you not good at it if you're good at it go for it you know get to any country of your choice and you're going to learn the language without problems if you're not good at languages you better consider countries that have english as an official language that's just a tip so i'll just talk about the first point today and then uh, i'll be building up uh, with points i'll be coming up with points uh, on different days on uh, this matter the first thing is, well, uh, I'm going to talk about people. Okay, we know that people relocate uh, for different reasons, but if if you are relocating because you have found a partner in these non-English speaking countries, then I'll say, if you have a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, a husband, Tell them from the word go to try and help you by speaking to you in the language which, you know, is their native language. For example, if, if for example, you find a German man, ask them to at least use German in a German language in simpler terms, in the basics, not like they are supposed to be speaking very tough german you know to you but something you know like how to greet how to just basic things you know uh, so that you start you know having an idea of what german language is all about 
Uh, if, for example, you meet a, a Danish man or a Danish woman, try and tell them to start speaking to you in Danish, for example. Swedish man, Swedish woman, boyfriend, girlfriend, let them start to help you to start, you know, with the basics. They shouldn't use tough uh, language, native language. They can start with simple, like, how are you? Good morning. You know, so those things, basics. That's the first thing that I would recommend that they do. Because if you're going to continue, why should they do that? You may ask if they, if you, you have a, for example, a, 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 a Swedish boyfriend, a Swedish girlfriend, a Swedish husband, a Swedish wife, and you are communicating, you know, by using English, it's not going to, you know, go very fast because of course you already know English. So now that you are planning to relocate to a country where they're speaking Swedish, for example, let them start uh, communicating to you. You know, it can be very simple. In the morning, they tell you how they greet in the morning, how they say this and that, you know, how they call this and that. Just these simple things. It's, it's going to help you. You're going to appreciate, you know, in the long run. So that's my first tip, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to bombard you with a lot of tips you might forget more tips to come okay in the next video uh, i want to make this very short and straight to the point so they can be of use you know to you who want to practice so consider that as a very important tip you know i know some will say ah but it's it's like um, you know, sounds awkward for me to start like greeting you in my native language, blah, blah, blah. No, just tell them, no, I need to start learning so that I can be better by the time, you know, I'm there. So this is a very important tip. Okay. More tips to come. These tips are what, you know, you know, they are going to yield good results. They might seem very simple, but you're going to benefit from them. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not taking long because um, Lusuepo is about to go to bed right now. And um, the young man is also supposed to feed and go to bed. So, it's a bit, you know, tight like that. But when I promise, I want to fulfill what I promise. So I'm going to come up with so many tips, you know, so that you can uh, choose which ones you're going to go for. Um, if you think, oh, it's not my thing, I'm not good at learning languages, I would advise you to look for love in countries where they speak English, for example the United Kingdom, Australia, the United States of America, and many other countries where they speak English so that you don't feel depressed when you start learning these uh, complicated grammars of these languages. Yes, they are complicated, but they're not impossible to learn. They are, it's as long as you're interested and you tell yourself, I'm going to do it. You are going to do it. If I can speak fluent Swedish, you can also learn any other language. But only when you're interested. Everything has, you know, to do with interest. And uh, if you are determined, you can learn. But if you are bad, you know yourself, maybe you're very good at mathematics and bad at languages. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not very good at calculations. Of course, I'm not that poor that I can't calculate things, but advanced mathematics is not my thing. But I'm gifted with a language. So when you find me speaking Swedish, some people think I was born here. You know, uh, it's, it's just like that. That's me. I didn't have any problems. So that's my thing. Because... Uh, 
I've studied linguistics and I know what I need to do to learn this language. How do I just grasp this grammar and I have a way I do it. So that's what I wanted to say. So if it's not your thing, don't even think of uh, relocating to these uh, countries, especially in Europe. Many, many countries do not use English as an official language. Talk of the Netherlands, they use Dutch. Norway, they use Norwegian. Denmark, Danish. Sweden, Swedish. Um, France, French. Uh, Portugal, Portuguese. Uh, oh, name them. I can't manage to mention all of them, but you know what I'm talking about. So, if you know that's not your area, you better not even make a mistake because you're going to feel like it's too much for you to handle. So that's what I can say to those. It's not, this is not for everyone. But learning language is also advancing your CV. You know, your CV will go up if you learn a new language. It's interesting, you know. So I'll come up with a lot of tips about things. Things that people can, you know, benefit from so as i've already said it's evening here and kids have to go to bed especially Lusuepo. he when he doesn't go to bed early he's uh, restless and he's misbehaving so that's why i'm going to make short ones like this so i'll leave you for now and i'm glad that i gave you at least a tip to start thinking about it's not everyone who wants to relocate but if you are interested in, in you know going to another country this is for you relocating is not for everyone you know relocating itself can be very a hard choice to make you leave your family your friends and everything that you love doing you go to a strange country and you adjust it's not as easy as it sounds it needs you to be you know uh, courageous so this is not for all of you but for some so and if it's not for you of course i appreciate that and i respect that we all have different priorities and we all have different interests in life so i'll leave you here okay so look out for tip number two okay have a pleasant night and remember to keep smiling to keep it real to be positive to be peaceful you know it's draining to be to have conflicts with people the peace of mind is very very important at least according to me so i leave you here and have a pleasant evening so bye bye i love you all <laughs>